Hey there, so in my last post, I discussed the details and overview about ERP. So this is the part two of that video, and it's all about um, implementing an accounting software solution. What are the different modules inside of it, and what can you expect if you implement an accounting software solution? Okay, in accounting naman, so kanina, what procurement inventory is this one is that accounting. So, basic sub-module na accounting is the general ledger. No? So, the general ledger is basically uh, chart of accounts and financial statements. So, who has questions about ano, uh, chart of accounts? Ano what, what can you see? What is chart of accounts for? Okay, chart of accounts is <clears throat> it's like ano, a ledger of um, of uh, ano the explanation? Very <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, For example, ikaw. No? Kasi a chart of accounts can apply to ano, a person. Okay. What is, what are your bank accounts? Um, okay. So you have, uh, kanyari, may tatuang bank account. So those accounts kasi, it has a uh, corresponding value. Um, diba? You have, um, depending on your ending balance no? uh -huh. but on top of that you meron ka bang mga pautang uh -huh. kung bawa may utang sa si Grace uh -huh. kailangan mong i-record yun eh. uh -huh. so you have to put uh, receivable to uh, Grace uh -huh. how much diba? uh -huh. kung may utang ka naman sa banko you also have to list that so those accounts that has corresponding ano, monetary value you have to record as one account of the entire chart of accounts. So, kanina sinabi ko, asset, which is cash and bank, equipment, like cell phone, may value yan, kasi may function of venta, diba? So, it also has a monetary value. Um, when you sell it, you also have to ano, account or record how much you sold that, ano, for a particular day or particular month. Ano. Pag nagbayad ka ng rent ng sa apartment, you also have to record that expense. Okay, so in accounting, regardless if you have a software or no software, ang tawag natin doon, they, they record it as chart of accounts. Okay. So, ang basic premise nun is, meron kang beginning balance, uh, ano yung movement doon? Uh, Nag-increase pa siya ng value or nag-decrease ng value? And then, magkano yung balance? For example, if, if you open an account in BDO, uh, uh, you open it, you deposited 5,000, diba? So, nag-increase ngayon ng 5,000. Then, kumasok yung sweldo mo doon, kunyari, another 5,000. So, nag-increase na naman ng another 5,000, then may balance ka ng 10,000. So, those movements, ano yun, yun yung tawag doon general ledger. Yung pasok at labas na pera mo per account. Same goes with your phone. Diba? When you, you, you bought it, when you bought it at 50,000, for example, ang dapat i-record mo doon, 50,000 ang value niya. Diba? Pero, ano siya eh, nung binenta mo na, nag-depreciate yan. So, dapat i-record mo rin yun on a monthly basis. Magkano na yung value nito. So, uh, those things again are a part of the of chart of accounts. May equation yan later, uh, na siguro, medyo advanced na sa accounting yun. Yung asset equals liability plus equity. So, yung ginagawa mo yung, kasi each ledger, di ba, gumagawa ka ng account. Diba? Plus, minus, plus, minus. Yung validity nun, kailangan mo siyang balance yun based on that equation. So, kung hindi mo siya mabalance, ibig sabihin, somewhere may kulang doon sa ginawa mo. Like for example, sabi natin kanina, meron kang banko at 10,000, bank account at 10,000 ang laman. Nung bumili ka, nabawasan yun. Kapalitan ng, ng phone na worth 5,000. So, dapat ma-record mo yun. Kaya hindi kasi, malalaman mo in the end na naglabas ka ng 5,000, saan napunta yun? hindi ka babalansi kasi hindi mo alam kung saan ang punta yung 5,000 mo. Mm -hmm. Kasi 
kasi nga hindi mo ni-record properly in accounting principle. So again, if you don't have a software, you have to do it manually, di ba? It's very ano, error prone and tedious. But in accounting, it automates your, that, ano, that process. Now every time you record the transaction, automatically you don't have to do the balancing. Because the, the system will not accept it if you don't, ano, if it's not balanced. Okay. So the basic ano, master list that we acquire from the customer when we start implementing, what are your accounts? <clears throat> so pinaka basic sabi nga natin cash in bank ART yung may utang sa'yo AP yung utang mo then you have your revenue as your papasok salaries naman pag palabas or rent expense palabas sir question uh, kasi yung mga clients sa atin ano po yung sinasabi nyo lang i-upload po na doon yung beginning balance yan din po ba yun Okay, so the accounts, those are labels lang. Those are labels lang. Um, it has no value if it has no balances. So dapat, um, like as of now, for example, magkano yung balance ng banko mo? Diba? So yun yung dapat mo ipasa sa system. Para mag-automate na siya yung real time. Diba? Kasi kung gamit ka ng system, Siyempre, hindi ka naman mag-start mag from the time you started the company. Masyadong mahaba kang nakakulit mo. So, you have to have a cut-off. Like, for example, today is um, January. Ideally, when we start, let's use the ending balance of December 31, 2018 as your beginning. Then, we will encode uh, from day 1 on January hanggang mahabol natin sa present. Or another instance is, let's just wait for the January 31 balance, then let's start encoding ng February 1. So, sa AP naman, okay, kanina, the general, ang, ang mismong ledger mo sa chart of accounts, eh, sa general ledger, yung mga chart of accounts, no? Sa AP module, ang pinakang ledger mo, or sub-ledger ang tawag natin, bro, yung mga suppliers. Suppliers, kasi ito yung mga may utang tayo eh. Okay, so each supplier, kasi in general ledger, di ba may AP account? So, ang balance that you will see in the general ledger, for example, 5 million, di ba? Ang total ng AP mo sa general ledger. Now, you want to see the breakdown. What is the breakdown of the 5 million? You can see it in accounts payable module per supplier. So, yun yung tawag na subsidiary ledger. Okay. It's a sub breakdown or schedule of your uh, parent accounts payable. So, these are applicable to companies that their suppliers has 30-day terms, 60-day terms, etc. Of EPC, what not. Okay. So, one example, okay. For example, in your general ledger, uh, you have 120,000. So the breakdown is supplier ABC has AP of 50, XYZ has a payable of 70. Ito yung breakdown of your AP. Okay. If the company procures additional goods to ABC amounting to 30,000, then the supplier accounts payable increases to 80. Correct? <coughs> Kasi 15 balance niya as of now. As of, ito, it's always as of. As of, of uh, ano ba ngayon? January 25, you have a balance of 50. And then you bought another goods no, at 30,000. So ngayon, 80,000 na yung balance niya. <clears throat> and the total accounts payable would be 150,000. But if the company pays XYZ, the amount of 20, then the supplier XYZ payable decreases to 50. So, yung 70 niya, magiging 50 na. 
then yung total accounts payable mo will decrease to 130 automatically through the system. But if you don't have the system, you have to do it manually. Diba? <coughs> so all, all the user has to do is just encode the payment. Once so you encode the payment, automatically it will decrease. All the reports will be affected. Ang key lang dito sa ERP natin is to identify where to encode the transaction based on their its nature. If it's a payment to the supplier, you have to know in the ERP when we, when should you when should you or what screen should I go to encode that payment? Take note, payment is different from billing, bill setup. Bill setup is just recognizing that you have to pay them. Gets? Diba normally, pag bumili ka ng sino ba yung pautang na supplier na gano'n? Uh, kunyari, if you have terms with one na cell phone supplier, bibigyan niya sa iyo yung cellphone, you pay me after 30 days. They will issue you a bill. But this is your bill in Alameda. June, June on uh, February 28. So, you have to encode it in the system, even though you're not paying it. <coughs> no, no, not consignment. It's um, it's a regular trade transaction. It's just that made terms. Okay, kasi in reality, <coughs> the cell phone kasi may value na yan. It's already a transaction. A cash, you know, uh, value of uh, money-related transaction. Kasi, nasa yun na yung cell phone, nasa yun na yung goods. Kaya lang, mabait lang siya because they, they, ano, he is allowing you to pay in 30 days. So, ang question na yun, that document, saan mo siya i-encode sa system? That's, that's the analysis part in capturing transactions. This is the nature of the transaction. Where should I encode this in the system? Lalo na kung may effect sa pera. Like an inventory, if you move an inventory, it is a money transaction as well because the inventory item has value. Diba? Pag nabasag yan, kung ang worth niyan is 10,000, nabasag yan, para ka nagbasag ng 10,000 peso, pinunit mo yung 10,000 peso. That's why every movement in inventory, every movement in payable, receivable, may document, may memo, yun yung debit memo, credit memo. Kaya lang, ang mas generic term sa debit memo ng ano, uh, receivable is sales invoice. Sales invoice is tinanin mo sa debit memo in increasing your utang ni customer sa iyo. Okay. Sabi mo ay, and, and what I'm teaching you is the principle in, that applies to any ERP system. Okay. When you do your analysis, you have to analyze this doc, this transaction. Sabi natin kanina, ba? Uh, it's ERP is to be able to capture transactions within the organization. So, if this is the transaction, we have to analyze where to input this in the ERP. Depends on the nature. For example, the purchase order. Okay. If I issue a purchase order to a supplier, where should I input the purchase order? What is the nature of the purchase order? And the information that we need to put in the purchase order. That's what we need to put in the purchase order. So, in regards to accounts payable, the basic transaction here is the billing setup or the accounts payable voucher or accounts payable memo or a credit memo. It can also be called as a credit memo. Payable credit memo to increase the value of your payable. Like for example, if the company procures 
additional goods sa supplier amounting to 30,000, then the payable increase to 80,000. Kung may terms. <coughs> but if you pay it right away, then it's a one day, two transactions in a day. Inisyo ka ng AP, but pinayaran mo agad. Okay. 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 So nagkaroon ng increase ng 30, tapos nag-decrease ulit ng 30. Back yung, balik, balik lang yung balance mo to 50,000 in one day. Okay. Same with the accounts receivable, baliktad lang. So accounts receivable, if the, or, the customer orders additional goods to the company, amounting 30, so 50 plus 30, 80 na ngayon yung utang ni supplier sa'yo. Pag nakakolekta ka naman, hindi ganun din. Nabawasan yung sa receivables. Kasi, yung payable and receivables, these are the major trade transactions from external. External. Kaya, in an accounting system, receivable and payable are two major modules. The third is the cash, cash management, treasury, pasa paglabas ng pera. Ito naman yan. So, each bank account is a subsidiary ledger of your cash in bank in your general ledger. So, pag nag-deposit ka ng pera, sabihin, nag-increase yung balance mo sa bank. If you issue a check, nag-decrease yung balance mo sa check. So, maya, ito yung parang basic accounting process. No? So, sa supplier delivers goods and issues dealing to the company. Then, it's no different with like if you order uh, business cards. Like, diba, recently nag-order tayo ng business card. Dineliver ni supply yung business card together with the billing. This is to bill you uh, 5,000 peso because of this business card. Diba? So si accounting, i-encode niya sa AP voucher. Okay. Para malaman natin, account natin yung utang natin kay supplier na yun. Tapos, automatic may report yun. Gusto ko makita how much is my utang for each supplier pero tayo report ng sa system. Okay. Now, sabi nga yun ni, ano, ni, ni Jean, magbayaran mo na. Okay. So, you have to prepare a check. Kanya, it can be after 30 days. Together with the CV or check voucher. Check voucher naman, it's a memo, it's a credit memo of your uh, cash in bank na naglabas ka ng pera to pay the particular fee. Okay. So now, meron ka ding report na summary of the checks. And one of the things that uh, the system automates is that each transaction here automatically posts to your general ledger as journal voucher. Yung mga debit credit na yun, ang tawag ng mga entraga. Kasi yung accounting principle, may T, di ba yung T account? May yeah. the, you remember that? Uh, sa Cotton College, di ba? So you have to do that T accounting. Ngayon, the system automates that for you. To be on time, generate financial statement. Okay. 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 Same, same thing with receivable. If the customer orders something, you delivered it, the bill ka, and then SI yun. Sales invoice or billing statement and service ka. Then automatically, meron ka ng sales uh, or ARA aging. Ito naman yung listahan ng mga utang sa'yo ni customer. If the customer pays, you issue an OR, then it will ano, increase naman your cash. Kasi nagbayad na siya. 